Okay, I would like to demonstrate for you guys today how you're going to use Logger Pro to help you with your trig project. I know many of you want to do your graphing here, so let me give you a quick rundown on how it's going to work. Your X column will be where you put your uh, angles. So what you want to do is double click on your X, pull up generate values, and then pick starting and ending values. So if you wanted to go from an angle of 0 to an angle of 2 pi, you would start, have 0 as your start, 6.28 at your end. Increment tells you how uh, detailed your graph is going to be. The smaller the increment, the more detailed it will be. So the default is 1, you probably want to go smaller. I'm going to make it 0.1, but you probably even want to go smaller than that. Okay, once you have all of your values, you then go to um, Calculated Column. You can call it something like Y1. You can then give your expression that you want to graph in here. So you would type in your amplitude times, then you pick your trig function, and you could type it in, or you could pick it from the list of trigonometric functions. Then you could put in your periodicity factor, or your frequency factor, however you want to think about it. And that would be like four times your angle. You pick your angle as X. Then if you have a phase shift, you want to put it inside the parentheses. So if you want to phase shift it by pi over 2, you go to parameter menu, pick pi, divided by 2. And then if you want a vertical shift, you'll put it outside the parentheses. Make sure you have your multiplication signs, your um, plus signs, and everything else properly formatted or it will not work. When you're done, you hit done and up will come your values for Y1. To actually see it on your graph, you click on the Y axis title and change it to Y1. You will then see your graph. You'll notice how it looks like uh, all these dots. Okay, so if you wanted to get it more detailed, this is where you would change your increment. So I can go back to the X, I can hit generate values, and I can make even smaller increments for a more accurate graph. It'll ask if you want to erase, you just say yes you do, and you'll get a more detailed graph. If you wanted to do a second calculated column with a second equation, you might want to call that Y2. Type in some new expression. Again, you use the same format that you did before. This time I'll do a cosine curve. Have a slightly different periodicity or frequency factor. Again, pick X where your angles are found. Phase shift. This time I'll do a phase shift of pi. And this time I'll have a vertical shift of 3. Okay, you'll notice I now get Y2. If I want to see what Y2 looks like, I pick Y2. If I want to see both Y1 and Y2, I can pick more and select Y1 and Y2. If I want to now add these two graphs together to see what the result would be, I would go to the New Calculated Column. I could call it Y Total. I go in here and I just say I'd like to add Y1 to Y2. And then if I want to see what that looks like, I just go here and pick Y Total. And again, if I want to see all three of them, I go to More. And I pick Y1, Y2, Y Total and that's how you're going to easily graph trigonometric functions in Logger Pro.